slow down here. Are there more sites over here? Is this the last site? Does this go far any much? Uh, on the road it does. Oh, on the road. Yeah, but there's a lot of sites off on the road. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so I'm looking for P2 or P6. But I don't see that in here at all. I just see like the three. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. I'll go over there. It was earlier. As long as they're still there. All right. Thank you. Okay. So there's ooh P6. This does not look like a campsite at all. A lot of firewood. Okay. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What is that? Is that a condom wrapper? Okay. Gross. There's some garbage around here. Ew. Ew. That is a condom wrapper. I have firewood, I think. But look at this. But there's a table. Oh my goodness. I love this. Score, I... Love this. This is like my own little campground. I'll have to set up my um, toilet. So that's good that I brought it. Let's go check out my water. My waterfront view. I wonder if I should go check out P2. P2. No. No, thank you. It's right on the road. Wonder if that's any wood I should grab. Oh, wait a minute. Well, let's check this out. Huh. These are really nice. Decisions. I've never had so many decisions before. So let's go back and check out the other site. It's possible. Yeah, I am going to stick with P6 because I like that my car is a little bit more private off the roadway. So I'm going to get cracking on this campsite, figure out where to set everything up. Um, maybe I'll start a fire right away. This wood does not look very promising. Yeah, I can... I can manage something. I think I'm going to get some of this wood cut for a fire. Whoa. Okay. Let's get going. Ew. Ew. Why? Like, what the heck? What kind of a sight is this? Oh my gosh. What the heck is going on here? It's hmm. disgusting. Okay. I think 
this is a whole huge box. Yeah, that's like an industrial size Costco size box, dude. Somebody had some fun. Okay. They didn't pick up after themselves. They think their mama stays here. Nasty. I did not sleep well last night. I was up for probably the majority of the night. I don't know why. It did storm last night. There was some snow. It was wet this morning. And so today's just going to be a lazy day. I'm going to go um, resupply, find a grocery store. There is the other campground over there. The three. All right, let's see how long it'll take us to get into. I'm going to Gatlinburg, I think is what it is. Looks like it's a ways away because I think I'm in BFE with this campsite, but it's free. So I'm headed the wrong direction and I came across this campground. shut off. Chioa Point Campground. There are cabins back there too and those are right by the water. the water and there's the other cabin there's no bathroom in there there can't be because the bathroom's right there we're in the Nantahala National Forest
The Smokies were named for their natural blue mist. They are among the oldest mountains on the continent, born before the age of the dinosaurs. Their geologic and climatic destiny unfolding over millions of years. Okay, I got a lot of good information about the heights that I want to go on. I'm at the Sugarland Visitor Center right now. And I definitely want to do the Ramsey Cascades hike, which is eight miles round trip, strenuous. Um, and then she just circled a whole bunch of hikes that she really likes. So I'm going to do Ramsey today. And then she says this um, to Alum Cave Bluffs is really cool. And then you continue on further to Mount Leconte, which is absolutely beautiful, she said. Andrew's bald. Um, Abram Falls and yeah, Chimney Top Trail. So this hike, Ramsey Cascades Trail, is 30 minutes from the visitor center I was just at. This park is ginormous and it takes forever to get anywhere, so keep that in mind if you come to visit. I am glad I brought my bear spray and multiple knives. my big bear bell. I've heard people say that they're not very useful, which they probably aren't, but honestly, they're super helpful for when you're passing people. You don't have to continually say, excuse me, excuse me. They just hear the bell and they move. So you say, thank you. It's very easy. I have my bear spray. I have a little knife. I have a big knife. Yeah. Hopefully we don't encounter a bear though. of this park I read that there are I think a total of 1500 black bears in the park and there's two per one square mile that's a lot
think I finally made it. I can see it. Remember this, Rachel. Remember this. When things get really hard, you have to get there before the sun goes down and the bears come out. So I just kind of kept going for a little ways because I was like, well, I know they say you kind of maintain your distance yes. and don't get too close. There's a black bear right there. Is there just the one? There were two. Oh, the other, the one, other one you said was smaller. The way. It looks smaller. I have never in my life seen a bear. And uh, this is the first time I've ever even been to Great Smoky Mountains. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, You're lucky, man. Holy cow. So have you ever seen a bear in the wild before? Where are you from? probably move pretty fast. Like it's just making its way down. This is crazy. It's just eating. I think it saw us, but. So Michael, your wife said she's okay with being on my YouTube channel. Yeah. So if you don't want to be on my YouTube channel. <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is going to be very unstable. Is it recording? Did you hear something over there? I'm not even kidding. Um, hey, you hear that? I'm really not doing it for video effect either. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Kimberly. She saved my life in the prairie bear area. Uh, I was the last one up the Ramsey Cascade Trail and she was right in front of me. She was alone as well. Her husband back there was waiting for her knee injury. But anyway, uh, she headed back down and then I headed back down shortly thereafter and there she was standing there. I was like, what is that lady doing? Maybe she can hear my bell. I don't know. So I got up to her and she said, there's a bear. <laughs> Two in fact. So you saw it before though. Like, and then you were like, I don't know what to do. Should I keep walking? Yes. <laughs> were you close to it? Closer than we were? 
when you first saw it, it kind of was still far away, but I could, it was just like looking right at me. Oh, it yeah. was? Yes, like we made eye contact. So oh, yeah, that's right. I was that. wanting to stop and take a picture, but um, that's why I moved forward because I didn't know if it would think that I was trying to come in on its turf, you know? Yes. You don't want to mess with bears. So here I was. It was an open field area. I got as best video as I could of it. I don't know if you can really see it, but I was just hustling because I was the last person down and I didn't want to be coming down in the dark like we are kind of now. But um, so we, Kimberly and I stood there for a minute and tried to get some more pictures and then it started moving towards us. <laughs> so we started walking away and then got a safer distance away, took some more pictures, but it was amazing. My very first day in Great Smoky Mountains and I saw a bear, thanks to Kimberly for pointing it out. <laughs> Anytime. And then I said, um, I have bear spray and some knives. So if you want to stick together, we can do that. And she said, yeah. Sounded like a good idea at the that's, time. <laughs> that's a good idea. I said, do you have bear spray? She says, no. I said, do you have a knife? <laughs> yeah, a yeah. little knife, a little pocket knife. But anyway, so, and we've just been hiking now down together. Safety in numbers, right? That's right. I always hike alone. That's why I'm outfitted to the max with bear spray and knives and whatever else, but. Yeah, we did not see any more, and it's been a nice journey down. And uh, Kimberly is from Tennessee. She's never seen a bear in real life. So that's now something that we share. So I told, as I was filming the bear, I was like, um, I'm not really talking to myself. I have a YouTube channel, <laughs> so I'm not totally weirdo. Anyway, so she's letting me film her. Okay. I think we're just about done hopefully with this hike. Kimberly, thanks for letting me tag Any along time? with you and your husband. No problem. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> You're really. welcome. I'm glad I got to see the bear. Thanks to you. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am feeling that hike. Feeling first started I was like strenuous this is not strenuous and then I got to that 2.5 mile sign to go Woo! Woo! that was rough and I am so glad so glad that Kimberly was there because there wasn't nobody else there wasn't anyone else like for a while that I I was the last person up there and I knew I didn't want to be up there for long because she had left a little while before me and I didn't want to leave too much further after her and then there she was I seriously that prairie area I felt like an open target honestly I just wanted to hustle and get out of there as quickly as I could and then when I saw her I was like what in the world is going on and then she said there are bears over there. I was like, no way, no way. I've never seen a bear in real life before ever. I hope the video that I got of it is okay. You know, you don't want to go up closer to a bear to get better video, but um, yeah. And then we just decided to carry on together the rest of the way down the hill and then her husband was there still waiting he had um he has a bad knee so he didn't want to it was just too much for him to continue up that that hardcore area dude i seriously i didn't i didn't know if i was gonna make it it was hard and um but i'm glad i did because i saw a beautiful waterfall and some bears and was able to hike with some other people on the way down so Kimberly, she
shout out to you. Seriously, thank you so much. It was really, really great meeting you. Uh, thanks for letting me tag along with you guys um, on the way back down the mountain. And <coughs> uh, yeah, I've got now about an hour and a half drive. I want to take a shower. Oh my gosh, it's like 830. I'm going to be filling this hike tomorrow, but I'm going to go to that campsite tonight and take a shower. I don't care how late I get there, but yeah, I won't be having a hamburger patty like I initially was planning on for dinner, but so I am just going to sign out here, I think, and continue on my journey, take my shower, and go to bed, and I will... See you all in the morning. So I am getting a very late start to the day, but that's okay because last night I went straight to the showers and it felt amazing. I did put $5 in the, the slot, so I do plan on using the showers again. I don't, I don't know how I could have slept just as disgusting as I was. I mean, I was so sweaty. I was shivering. I had to take off my wet, sweaty clothes on the way back to camp because I was that cold. So then after that, I just came to camp and crashed. It was like 11 o'clock by the time that happened. From Ramsey Cascades Trail, two hours. Two hours to get here last night. Not ideal. Like I said, if I was only going to be here for a short while, I would have just stayed in a campground. But because I am here for quite a few days, it's, it's honestly totally worth it. Because waking up to this view with the water, and it's really private. There are a couple roads up here, but nobody really drives down this main road where I am. The... Um, the main road is actually up there, so when you hear cars, they're way up there. I actually bought some new hiking shoes. I wanted to get the Solomons at the REI in Tennessee, but they didn't have any in my size because I'm a Bigfoot. And so I tried on so many shoes and it just was not my day. All they had, they didn't have my size in anything. And so the guy was even getting the male versions for me. And I don't mind getting the male version, but they were not cute. And I need them to look halfway decent. So he had told me about these shoes. I know that these shoes are the same shoes that Homemade Wanderlust wears. Um... But they do look like clown shoes and I honestly, I really did not want to get them. I was not about it. I don't like the way they look, but I put them on and I was like, okay, I get it. I totally get it. The girls version were like psychedelic neon colors, orange and bright pink and I was not having that. So these are the males and... Wow, I have not, I wore them yesterday on the 8 mile hike for the first time. I did not have to break them in. Um, totally amazing. Love them. The only thing is, when I'm going downhill, my toe kind of hits the where it feels like the seam meets the sole. I can kind of feel that, I think. So I tightened my shoelaces a little bit and that seemed to help and then i double knotted the shoelaces i could not even get them undone today normally you can just pull the little uh strings the loose single string and it'll come undone mm -mm. it was not happening for me so we are gonna head on our way go to the cades cove visitor center and i just want to show you guys so where i'm staying initially there was a road that was open but it's now closed to vehicles. And in this book, so this book is from 2017. Uh, I am, I'm staying down here. Okay. This is where my campsite is. 
Ramsey Cascade Trail was way over here. That should be as far as I'm going to go, like I said. Cades Cove is just right here. And so there is this cut-through road that used to be a cut-through road that says it's closed in the winter. But now the park maps that I got yesterday, they say it's totally closed to vehicles. So that would have saved so much time um, getting into the park. So now I either have to go clear over here or like clear over here, which is what I did last night. And it took me two hours. So keep that in mind. If you do want to stay in this area, in this campground area, um, it will take a while unless they pave or open that road. So I think that's about it. I'm going to head into the park again. I need to hurry because it took two hours to get here. So I have to walk kind of fast. Luckily it's a moderate height, so hopefully that will help. Here we go.
I am done and I started the hike at 5.02 p.m. Two and a half hours. That's what happens when you're hiking in bear country, Great Smoky Mountains, and you're the last one to get started because it takes you two hours to get there. This is in a Cades Cove loop, so you're behind solo traffic doing this audio tour, I think it is. So they take forever. I didn't get a chance to go to the visitor center, which is probably a good thing because uh, I really don't want to hike when it's dark and the bears are out. I'm going to head back to camp. Hopefully it won't take forever. And I am going to have hamburgers. Yes, plural. With some cheese. Melted cheese on top. So, I don't know. I might get back at like 9.30. I hope not. Because I really want to have some hamburgers. But yeah, this is a parking lot. It's just my car. People probably thought I was crazy getting started. I thought so too, and honestly, I would not have done it if I didn't read that it was a moderate hike, mostly flat. But it was beautiful. Oh my goodness, right? Gorgeous. Okay. Well, I should miss all the Cades Cove loop traffic. Ooh. Good morning. It is my final full day in Great Smoky Mountains slash Nantahala National Park, however you pronounce it. And we're getting an early start. One, because I could not really sleep last night. And two, because I'm very hungry. So, we're all set up. Now we can get ready. Um, I've never used one of these before. Like I mentioned earlier. But I got this from my friend. And then this I bought myself because it's a special pan that goes with this kit. So this is a cup. This is not going to be an initial, like this isn't going to be a review. It's just going to be an initial use. Because I like to use stuff for a minute before I review them. So this is a stand for the fuel. Ooh, it's chilly. But isn't this a beautiful view? I love it. Okay. There's that. Oh, I don't know if I need to have a lighter. I read somewhere that, or saw somewhere that these have a self ignite or a ignite by lighter. I have no idea what I'm doing. But this is probably requires... I need to go get the instructions. Where do I have the instructions? There's a little plus sign and a minus sign right there. Alright, so I have my lighter. We have some activity across the street. Oh, it's cold. It's like... Probably, uh, I think it's like 47 degrees. So yeah, we're just gonna do this. The water is so calm. We could do it up here. Oh gosh, Man, this thing sucks. Good thing I don't use it to. 
Oh my gosh. I'm just your average consumer. Ugh, I need a better lighter. Ugh. I don't have a lighter. I don't, I don't, I can't find it. I thought I had another one of these. Oh, there it goes. It's gonna work. I think you can do it with these. No? I heard four bugs get into my food. see that is glowing of course of course once I go search again for something else to light it with well we're gonna have our eggs well done oh dang it oh. Jeez, girl destroy these okay that's gonna be done hurry Does this look good? I think it does. It's going to be good. Ooh. So nice. Okay. We're going to let that steam a little bit, maybe. Probably not. We're going to pretend like it will. Let's try this out now. Really wish I had some salsa, something spicy. Mm -hmm. Good. Hopefully, I can have a hot dinner tonight. Let's go for a walk. Oh, I just want to show you the pretty water. Oh. That is so pretty. If you had some water toys, you could totally play in here. Because it's pretty shallow. Right here, and that's rock right there. You could go walk out on. But I go back and forth as to whether or not this spot is worth the distance. And like right now I say yes. <sighs> um, but when I'm driving into the park, I'll probably say no. But it is a beautiful day. And I'm excited to do this hike today. So I'm going to finish my little makeshift breakfast, egg, whatever this is. And then get on the road. Go to Walgreens first, get some ibuprofen. And then be on our way. This is where I am now. Here, definitely, and then maybe here, if my legs can handle it.
people. It's rude. I don't have time to do the whole mile and a half trail, I don't think. I don't think there's anything else up there. It just follows the stream. You know, with the over 800 miles of trails that they talk about, they sure don't have faucets to fill up any of the visitor centers I've been to or any of the trailheads. So it takes forever to fill up your pack in a drinking fountain. I don't know what they think. something. They just have vending machines. I don't think so. Here we go. Alum Cave Trail. I don't know. Oof. I'm sore. So I'm definitely going to do this and then depending on how I feel I'll do this. see, get a gauge of how far I've gone. I'm really feeling my legs, so I'm going to take my time, not too much time, so that I can make it. But yeah, eight mile hike and then a five mile, I'm feeling it. And my gimbal likes to go wonky whenever I hike with the terrain. So now it's like this. Anyway, it's going to take me a minute to get there. So just enjoy the view.
Tennessee, you do not mess around with your hikes and your views. It's gorge. Little gorge. We're about halfway to our final destination. This way? Oh, that's what they were saying. Some people were saying that you might, you go up about a quarter of a mile past the lodge. I guess this is the lodge. I didn't know all this was up here. I was like, where am I? So you went about a quarter of a mile up there? Thank you. So I'm headed to the cliff tops. I'm told it's worth it. I don't know what those cabins were. I guess that's the summit. I took a detour, I probably shouldn't have. But this is 0.2 miles. I'm ready to be done. I need to get back down. It's kind of creepy up here. There's a whole bunch of moss everywhere. It's really wet. So.
pretty disappointed at the end of the uh, hike there. I was really not impressed. I mean, it, it was cool because of the Blue Mountains, but um, it was so not worth it. All that walking, hiking, is just too much for that reward at the end. So, and that was the longest hike I've ever done in my life. I was thinking initially that um, Tennessee can compete with Utah pretty well. I mean, they, they kill Utah in waterfalls for sure. But, not after seeing that view. My shoulders are killing me, my legs are killing me. I'm probably gonna be, barely be able to walk tonight. Um, I could hardly walk last night. Now I know, I do not recommend doing that hike. Just go to Alum Cave Bluffs, that's it. But, it, yeah, it's just such a waste of time. Such a waste of time. I really need to get going, 7.30. My most favorite hike of this trip is Ramsey Cascade, for sure. That waterfall was just very beautiful, uh, and I really did like Abram Falls as well. Um, that was cool. And the Alum Bluffs was awesome. Totally awesome. I should have just left it there, but you just never know. You never know. I pushed it way too hard on this trip. Um, next time I will not do that. But anyway, I'd love to know what you guys thought. Have you hiked any of these hikes that I did or any other ones? What ones would you recommend? What do you think about the Lecomte, whatever, uh, destination? Uh, if anybody's hiked that or from, I, w I didn't get much footage because I was like, really? I'm done. Now I gotta hike down 5.5 freaking miles. Anyway, um, I'm gonna head back to camp now. And I'm definitely gonna take a shower tonight, for sure. And I just don't know about um, hamburgers. I've been thinking about them this whole trip. And I'm gonna be heading out tomorrow. So. the uh, cheese was more melted. Oh shoot. I lost power. Put that over there. You have made it to the end and so have I slowly but surely I have packed up today the camp spot is clear it's better than when I got here I have left no condoms so I slept pretty good last night I was very comfortable it was a perfect temperature um, I'm glad I ate I woke up about nine this morning and I was actually pretty hungry. I got quite the journey home and then maybe I will be on the lookout for some Tennessee BBQ. That's really sounding pretty good. Please comment, let me know how you like the format of these national park videos. I, I'm an 
amateur. So I'm just rolling in inexperience. I do have my book now, but I'm just rolling in. Maybe have a campsite in mind, visit the visitor center, do a hike, maybe do a little sightseeing, play some music along with the hike. Do people like that? Do people not like that? I mean, I could show my entire hike, which would be hours and hours and hours of footage and not all of it is exciting. So I spare you the boring parts. So where will our next national park be? Hmm. Thank you for watching. Bye.